Hey, what's up guys? This is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. Alright, so let's continue our discussion for Navisworks. So as you can see, I already opened my Navisworks Manage 2018. So in this exercise, so let us try to explore what are the file types that Navisworks can open. Because this is actually what Na uh, why Navisworks has become so popular. Okay, because almost any construction or engineering or architectural files that is available in the market can be open here in Navisworks. Okay, so that is what uh, Navisworks uh, so special about. Okay, so in this video, let us try to explore the different file types Rabbit can open directly. Okay, so we're also going to bring in a Rabbit file directly and see how Navisworks handles it. So to begin with, I'm going to click the open button here. Okay, so as you can see, in my samples folder, okay, so in my samples folder, by the way, if you want to follow, you can select here. You click this arrow and then you look for sample files. So you will be directed to the sample files of Navisworks. But since we do not want that, like what I have said, we are going to open directly our Rabbit file. So I'm going to select up one level here, up one level, and then I look for Rabbit 2018. So I'm going to open this and then look for the samples folder so that you can follow. Okay, no need for me to ask to give you the sample file because it's already inside your computer. So I'm going to use here uh, sample, let's say the structural model, the basic sample project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this Rabbit file directly in Navisworks. So by the way, I want you to take note of the files of type that Navisworks can open. So this is what makes Navisworks uh, special. Because as you can see, uh, dozens of file types can be open here in Navisworks, including your MicroStation, including AutoCAD, including Adobe, including SAT file, sketch file, SOLIDWORKS, okay? So this is what makes the Navisworks uh, powerful because uh, it can open a lot of files type, okay? Anyway, so I'll just make sure files of type here is set to Revit so that I'll be able to select the Revit file here. So I'm going to select this and then I select open. Okay, so let's just wait. <clears throat> Okay, so after we open this file, what will happen is uh, Navisworks will make this as a cache file. So this is now your uh, Revit architecture model opened in Navisworks. Okay, so by default, like what I've said earlier, it converts this file, this Revit file into an NWC file. Okay. So this cache file serves as an interpreter between Navisworks and Revit. Okay, so that is what will happen. And to prove that, if I'm going to select the folder here where I saved the exercise folder, the sample files, if I select the Revit 2018 here and go to the samples folder, you can see that automatically Navisworks creates the cache file. You see? The RST basic sample project dot NWC. Okay, so that is actually what will happen. So every time you open a file, Navisworks will create a cache file for that. But of course, if you are going to save this file, you will not be able to save it as a cache file, but you'll be able to save it as either NWF or NWD. Because, like what I have said earlier on our lesson two, you cannot save an NWC file, okay? So this is what will happen. It creates a cache file if you open a file, whether it be AutoCAD, MicroStation, or Revit directly in Navisworks. Okay, so hopefully it, uh, this video has been helpful to you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, all right? So don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we are going to continue our discussion in our next session. Alright, so I'll keep you updated. 
So once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.